Hello, welcome to my garden. This is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. If you have not hit the like button, please hit the like button and subscribe for more updates like this. Ah. This is August 13th, 2021, and like I'm that. telling you, um, I'm, I planted these plants in these little containers, and my goal this year was to grow something. So if you're watching this video and you're a real gardener and you look at these containers and you say, those poor baby plants in those little tiny containers. Um, my goal this year was just to grow something. And I was just thrilled with the results that I got this year. You can see that I have a lot of tomatoes on the vines. It has been very hot the last couple days and I've been trying to water these plants like in the morning and in the evening. And right now they are pretty dry, I know that. I'm just gonna wait a couple hours till the sun goes down and give them some more water. But I've got tons of tomatoes and my carrots look great too. Yesterday I pulled a bunch out and made beef stew. So I just kind of made room for more to grow a little bit bigger. My lettuce was amazing, I've been cutting this lettuce and I've been eating it and it's growing back. I just feel like this year was a complete success. Sorry, this one is a little parched, but I think I'm at the end kind of of my tomato experience here. I picked a bunch I already made some tomato sauce and put it in the refrigerator and I have more tomatoes. I'm going to pick these after this video. I'm going to put a picture at the end of the video. My peppers are finally growing. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm going to get quite a few on this plant. They just started growing and they've grown pretty fast. Here's my harvest from today. In the background, you see this tomato sauce that I've already made. I'm gonna eat some of these in a sandwich and then I'm gonna put the rest in some more tomato sauce. Hello guys, I just wanted to come on here and just tell you a little bit about my gardening project. Thank you for watching so far in this video. I just learned a lot and I know that I can transplant these tomatoes and I can do a lot <laughs> still. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these run its course and I am actually going to use my front yard and I am going to make some garden areas, like put in some raised beds. Um, this really showed me that I can do this. I actually have some more seeds. Um, I can plant, I know that some things I could actually plant now and grow again even still there's still more growing season left but um, I just learned so much about plants this year and I want to thank my friends um, Danny Happy Farms Louisiana and Evelyn Joy for their persistence and they're cheering me on through this gardening process um, usually in times past I have gardened in my backyard and it just seemed like every year something went wrong this year I decided I am definitely going to follow all the rules. I'm going to grow something and I'm just so excited with how much I was able to grow. I know it's not going to be enough food for the entire year, but I learned a lot. I grew tomatoes, cucumbers, I grew lettuce, kale, I grew peppers. And I just decided to kind of keep it simple this year so that I could show that I could do it. Now, I, of course, I figured out it was good to have those containers, but I think that my plants would have done even better if they had been in the ground and tended to a little better. Um, but they did do really well. Another thing I would do differently is I really... I went out, got the poles and the string, and I made some string so I could tie them to it, but it wasn't strong enough. So I've seen videos where gardeners will put like 
a frame around the sides and then the plants can climb up the string if you want to use string or use some sort of a metal trellis. So I'm definitely going to look into that. My cucumbers, I got quite a few, but they were kind of small. So maybe that's because of the smaller containers that they were in. So I will be upgrading my gardening skills and I'm going to put in, I'm going to make a little bit of a template of what I want to do with a garden and then I'm going to kind of lay it out in the fall and I want to get some manure. I actually live on a street where I have plenty of manure. <laughs> There's like three or four farms right on my street and I can put in that fertilizer now so that it will be ready for the spring planting. So that's what I plan to do. And if you have any other ideas that you would like to share with me, go ahead and post below. If you gardened for the first time and had success this year, let me know. It's a little intimidating. And last year I got going, I actually made some videos about gardening. I was all excited because everything grew inside, but I was not successful outside. So I'm really thankful that this year we had quite a good success. Uh, we did have a lot of rain at some points in time. And like right now we seem to have a really dry spell. So that's why everything looks really, really dry. And it's been very hot, especially hot. So everything looks a little drier than it has been. But I'm so excited to try again and to improve on my skills for next year but this definitely helps me to know that I can do it. I am actually a gardener. 2021, I had some success with gardening and I chose to make tomato sauce with my tomatoes because I didn't put any spices in it or anything like that. I did not drain the water. So I know what I have and I put it in the fr fridge for a couple days ago so what I'm gonna do is just put those in the freezer. I'm just gonna, you know, put the sauce in the freezer and then that way I can take it out whenever I want it. I can turn it into, I could put it in soup, I could make spaghetti sauce out of it, um, pizza sauce, anything like that. And I also did get a spice for pizza, so if I use it for a pizza sauce, I can just put that spice right on top and delicious. So it's been a lot of fun. I've had my, one of my dreams was to grow my own tomatoes <laughs> so I could have a tomato sandwich and I have been enjoying those. Um, I just go out there, pick a tomato and what I like to do is just get some fresh bread and put some nice mayonnaise on it, salt and pepper, fresh tomato. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> so... Tell me what your favorite thing is with your fresh garden vegetables. And let me know if you have a garden video, post it below and I'll watch your garden video. Thank you for watching and thank you for your encouragement and helping me just share these, this news along the way. I hope you have a great day.